Okay, let's clear the board. So, question number seven. All right, so, um, so let's read through this question. So bromine has two naturally occurring isotopes, Br79 and Br81, and has an atomic mass of 79.904. So let's just write down some given. So bromine, yeah, bromine 79, first isotope, and bromine 81. We know the atomic mass of bromine is, so I'll just write Br79.904. And this is AMU. AMU. All right. And the mass of bromine 81 is 80.9163. So 80 is bromine 81. Yep. 9163 and its natural abundance is 49 I'll write this a little smaller actually so 3 and then 49.31 okay so we're give and then we're asked to calculate the mass and natural abundance of Br79. So here, mass and natural abundance. So what is the answer? So let's go through what the junior tutor said, and we'll go through how to get to the correct answer. So the junior tutor says to determine, calculate the mass and percentage from the given data. Mass percentage of abundance are and respectively. So here, you know, I think there's just some missing values. Not sure if. This was just by accident, so so there's some missing values here. So the atomic mass represents as blank. Here's the number. So they go through the process. So let's just run through the process of how to go about um, getting the answer here. Okay, so the first thing we have to understand is that because we have two um, naturally occurring isotopes here, we would get, or the, let's, let's answer the first part. So we, we can easily find the natural abundance of bromine 79. So by the way, this is kind of a chemistry question, not really a physics question, but we're gonna go through it anyways. So, so for the abundance of bromine 79, we can easily say 100%. So minus 49.3, 1%. And this will give us the abundance because we know we only have two isotopes and they both have to kind of add up to 100%. So, uh, and we'll get, we, we'll end up getting 50. So, just doing some mental math over here, you can plug this into your calculator 0.69%. So, let's just double check this. So, 100 minus 49.31, yep, 50.69. So this is answering one part of the question. So this is the abundance of bromine 79. And now to calculate the mass. So we know the total, or not the total, the, the actual mass of bromine is 79.904. And we know the two isotopes give us, for, for our bromine 81, this is the mass. And we don't know the mass for bromine 79. So we can use kind of the weighted average of the two isotopes and their abundance. So we'll say, will represent the mass of 79 by the variable x. We'll say x equals question mark. And we'll say so x times 50.69. We'll put that in decimal places. 50.69 plus 80. So this number over here. 0.916 times 0 0.4931. And this should give us 
79.904. So let me just underline some numbers. So we got 79.904 from up here. Okay. And we obtained 80.1963 from up here. So I actually missed a number. So there should be a three. And we have 49.931, 49.31, sorry. And we put this in decimal small over here. And then 50.69, uh, and we put that in a decimal um, notation. So let's go back over here. Okay. So we have the three over here. I'm going to erase some space up top to do this calculation. So I'm going to erase this. Okay. So essentially all we have to do is rearrange. So to rearrange we and solve for x. So x would equal, so we know we have 79.904, so we'll say 79.904, and then we have to subtract this on both sides of the equation. So minus 80. Um, let me write a little smaller because this is this won't fit on the page, so I'll just write a little smaller so we can fit everything on one page. So 79.904 minus 80.9163 times 0 0.4931. Okay. So essentially we had the 79.904 over here on this side of the equation. We subtracted 80 point, this kind of term um, to isolate for x. And then we're left with this on the left side. So we just divide both sides by that. So we'll end up with 0 0.5069 on the bottom. So we had it over here and we just divided it out to get it to the other side. So here we kind of just put, plug this into our calculator and we'll get the value for the mass of bromine 79. So just plug this in. So we'll say 79.904 minus 80.9163 times 0 0.4931 divided by 0 0.505069. And we end up with 78. Point nine one nine, and that's the second answer to the second. Um, so, the mass of bromine seventy nine. So we answered the second component of the question. So here we have the mass is seventy eight point nine one amu. Am. So am. U and the uh, abundance is 50.69% from what we calculated previously. So we'll so incomplete solution um, for bromine 79. The mass is so 78. 0.919 AMU and the abundance is 50.69%. So here the junior tutor doesn't provide the full kind of numerical answer. So we went through the um, calculation and did the math here. And we'll mark this as incorrect.